I'm Jesse Danger and I coach parkour. To me, parkour is 100% mental. Um, even the, the physical aspect is an understanding of how I feel, uh, what I'm capable of, and how I can accomplish the task at hand. We could go out and we could find just one jump and sometimes people will face off against one jump for uh, an hour or a day or a month or a year where they know it's within their capabilities but they're not quite to the point of being able to take that leap. And going around and looking for those challenges in whatever way we want to grow is what we do when we practice. Parkour to me is really being honest with yourself about who you are. You know, when we go out and train, we are faced with a very strong physical metaphor of what we're capable of. And often we realize that we're capable of more. I think that parkour has shown me that the way I see myself is not always accurate, that I'm certainly capable of more and that I can train to become better. My name is John Dizan. I am a coach with The Movement Creative. I had open heart surgery when I was 12 years old year two, in uh, 2000. I have flat feet. I'm a lot shorter than most of my fellow athletes. Um, physically, I don't have as much going for me as, let's say, Jesse Danger or some of the uh, hot shots here in New York, but that's what I try to give to the people is that Parkour is for everybody, and even though I might seem fit, I'm definitely um, coming from a background where not everything was made for me to climb on or jump on, and I want to disprove that by showing everybody that they have the ability within themselves to find that inner strength, just like I did. Because of a messed up procedure at 12, they decided to crack me open then. I'm still on beta blockers to this day, and will be for the rest of my life. As a five foot five, flat footed Filipino in the greater New Jersey and New York area. I wasn't particularly good at team sports. I wasn't advancing in my skateboard career. I wasn't, I don't play any instruments or am, uh, have rhythm for that matter. So besides comic books and gallivanting with my friends to the mall, I didn't really find a place in society to call my own until parkour came into my life. Specifically, I avoided flips for the last uh, decade or so. Flipping to me was uh, an extra part of parkour that I wasn't ready to uh, establish within myself. I can teach flips, your basic back flip, front flip, or side flip, but to me, uh, choosing not to do flips as part of my training was like somebody choosing to be vegan or vegetarian. We kind of look at our environment, test out surfaces, check with one another of what we're trying to do today. If we're feeling particularly good, today could be a big jump day, trying to measure out gaps with our feet or analyzing the space between railings. And upon testing and uh, warming up, we push ourselves to explore new territories. Movement is by far one of the most fundamental things that we do besides eating, breathing, sleeping. We move, and whether it's just to from home to school or from the train to work, that aspect of your life that you spend on your hands and feet can be pushed to something much more greater and whether it's recreationally or spiritually you can find an outlet to um, try parkour.